I couldn't believe it when I went to the rapid improvement event and colleagues showed me the mess that recruitment and onboarding was. Um, I'd heard a bit of noise about it in the system, but I just hadn't realised what we were putting people through. And to be honest, I was uh, embarrassed and even even quite ashamed, really, about the message it gave about us as an organisation, went to put people through that. I started at Surrey in January this year. When I arrived, I wasn't supplied with a laptop and I had difficulty getting around the building but, and out of the building because I wasn't given a pass. This wasn't a very good impression to be given on your first day and in fact for the first three weeks um, I didn't have a laptop. It came across as both unprofessional and disorganised, which I don't think is a fair impression of Surrey having been here a bit longer. My experience of using the e-recruitment system is that it's been quite tiresome. As a hiring manager, I found it quite difficult to use the system to set up um, interview slots, to set up adverts, etc. In terms of the information you had to provide, I had to do a lot of had to do a lot of form filling, and lots of that information I think was already in existence, and the recruitment team had access to that. And overall, I think it's been a very difficult time, um, and it's been quite a difficult system to use. Speaking on behalf of the recruitment team. We shared many of the frustrations of hiring managers and of candidates. We've always had a very clear focus on customer service and, and continuous improvement. So it was extremely frustrating for us to have to try and find ways around the process and in spite of the process to meet um, our customers' needs as best we could. The trouble with the onboarding process is that although you know, we would try tweaking here and tweaking there, it was just too big for us to tackle on our own. So as you can see, we were set a significant challenge to improve the process you see on your screen. To meet this challenge, we carried out two parallel activities. Firstly, we ran a rapid improvement event, looking at the process successful applicants go through from the moment they accept their verbal offer to their first day with the County Council. I was part of the onboarding RIE uh, as a team of 15 colleagues who were together for an intense week of process mapping, interviewing managers, uh, data analysis to fully understand the onboarding process uh, and the issues that managers face when they were using it. And we all quite early on agreed what the requirements were to improve the process to ensure that uh, the customer was at the heart of it and there was automation for a lot of the tasks they were currently doing manually. The second activity was to create a specification for what we needed our new applicant tracking system to do. This was carried out after the rapid improvement event to make sure the new process could be fully embedded within our system. We did a very detailed consultation with colleagues who used the process and various stakeholders. Most notably, we carried out a process of engagement with the Surrey Coalition for Disabled People. We have a very large organisation called the Surrey Coalition for Disabled People with over 1,030 member organisations. Um, Martin proactively identified the need by analysing the um, recruitment data, our attraction data, who's coming here, who's not coming here, and there's a massive gap between where we are and where we need to be. There's no point in configuring systems to replicate broken processes. The way that Martin set about delivering this project was first of all to fix some of the processes and then secondly to configure the system to deal with them. Uh, now in doing that we first of all fixed the issues from a hiring managers and candidates point of view but that involved taking a lot of administrative work into the shared service centre. As the system uh, is configured to uh, re-engineer that administrative burden as well uh, away, we, we then get uh, both a good experience for hiring managers and candidates and something that we can run at an efficient cost. The new system is absolutely fantastic. In terms of, from my perspective as a hiring manager, I've been able to just verify information. It's come through with everything that you need already on there. All you need to do is just add a little bit of extra information to check that what they've got is correct. Um, it's a much more joined up process in terms of the links between the different departments involved. IT is now on board in terms of having new starters come in. 
My experience has been that the IT has been ready for them when they've arrived and that's not always been the case in the past. For us in recruitment, it's been a really positive experience because we know now that the process is working for hiring managers and it's a much better candidate experience. Yes, um, so. That This could never have happened and without the support and commitment of senior management uh, who got all the right people together around the table, locked us away in a room for a week and didn't let, allow us out until we'd fixed the process. And we did. Onboarding is about the first impressions that people get at Surrey County Council, so there's nothing more important to get right. And I'm really pleased that my colleagues have done this piece of work and I'm already getting good feedback about the difference it's made to people's personal first set of experiences when they come to work for us as an organisation.